Hey guys, in this video, I'm very glad to share with you how to use WebZast for Bootstrap and jQuery in a Spring Boot application. So, what are WebZast? You know, WebZast are client side web libraries packaged into JAR files that can be used in JVM based web application. The benefit of using WebZast is that it's very easy to use and manage via build to success Maven or Gradle. And it supports for many popular web libraries such as Bootstrap, jQuery, Swagger, UI, Angular. And uh, to this video, I'm going to show you how to use WebJar to include the Bootstrap and jQuery in a Spring Boot application. Normally, in a traditional approach, we often uh, refer to web libraries such as Bootstrap and jQuery from CDN websites or manually download the web libraries from the web and then import to the project. Uh, but with uh, WebZAS approach, we just declare dependencies for the web libraries uh, via Maven or Gredo. And then uh, we can use the web libraries from jar files. Very convenient. And here is a step to use uh, WebZAS in a Spring Boot project to use the query and bootstrap. Uh, first, declare WebZAS dependencies for Bootstrap and jQuery, and then declare WebZAS Rogator, which is a library uh, that uh, looks uh, for web libraries in JAR files. And then uh, we can import jQuery and Bootstrap files in HTML pages. Now, let me create a new Spring Boot project and then uh, show you how to use uh, Bootstrap and jQuery via WebZAS. Uh, this is a Spring Tools we IDE and create a new Spring Starter project. And the project name is uh, My Web App Description Demo using WebZAS for Bootstrap and jQuery. Next and uh, we choose the Spring Web, uh, Spring Developer Tools, and Time Leaf. That's it, and click Finish. And we got the My Web App project created here. And you can see this is the main class that uh, runs the application here. And this is a Maven project file, bomb.xml here. And you can see here we use dependencies for TimeLeaf, Spring Web, and Developer Tools. Okay, let me create a, the home page for this application under the template directory here. New as a HTML file. And name the file as index. Finish and change the title to Welcome to my application with the heading one Welcome to my web app and we create a Spring FVC controller class to handle requests to the home page app controller. Annotate this class uh, with the controller annotation here. And we have the handler method that handle HTTP request uh, to the home page. Public change view home page. And this returns the logical view name, which is home here. Sorry, index because uh, the time leaf, uh, template view is index.html file here. That's it. Now we can run our Spring Boot application here. Start. Okay, our Spring Boot application is uh, running with an embedded Tomcat server on port. ATAT and context path is empty. Now right click on the application here and open web browser. And you can see the home page appears 
and with the heading one welcome to my web app here now let's come to the important part in this video we are going to use bootstrap and jquery via webzaz so we declare dependencies for bootstrap and jquery in the maven project file here dependency and group id is uh, dot webzaz and artifact id is uh, for uh, bootstrap is yeah, bootstrap that's it and you can specify a specific specific version of bootstrap i want to use bootstrap version 4.3.1 here that's uh, for bootstrap and we do the same for the query uh, the group id is the same or dot webzaz and artifact id is jquery and uh, version number is uh, 3.4 by 1 that's it and we also need to have a webzaz locator which your library is responsible for looking for web libraries in jar files so we need to declare this uh, locator dependency as well group id is Oh, dot webzaz and artifact id is um, webzaz task uh, locator task car that's it save the changes and uh, maven we automatically download the required jar files the jar files that uh, contain the files for bootstrap and uh, jquery here let's see you see a uh, jar file for bootstrap here and you can see under the resources webzaz you can see the files of bootstrap here css and uh, js javascript for bootstrap here uh, all packaged into a single jar file so we can use uh, bootstrap uh, as a normal jar file in a java web application and you can see popper.js is a javascript library uh, used in conjunction with uh, bootstrap and this is a jar file for jquery you can see you can see the file for jquery a very popular javascript uh, framework here and this is a web that locator that is responsible to read the web libraries into inside the jar file and expose uh, the web libraries files as the normal files when we used in the view html pages okay that's it and now let's update the HTML page here to use uh, the query and bootstrap in the head section of the document here. So we use a link element to refer to uh, bootstrap in, uh, CSS file or L equals type sheet and type equal text slash css and href uh, refers to the location of the bootstrap uh, css file which is under this directory web that slash uh, bootstrap slash notice the prefix must be web that and then the part can uh, follow in the draft file here bootstrap here from the version number here you see bootstrap slash uh, css slash uh, bootstrap dot mean dot css and you can see the file bootstrap dot mean dot css here now we can uh, use bootstrap uh, right away here 
I declare this section with the class is container dash fluid for responsive container inside is the heading one save the change and uh, refresh the web application here uh, using uh, internal web browser it uh, doesn't uh, update it still catches the web page so it's better to use an uh, external uh, browser like chrome so i open chrome to access uh, this uh, spring boot application via localhost here and you can check uh, view basis and click on the link in the href attribute here we got an uh, while label error page and that means uh, the CSS file is not uh, loaded I think we need to stop and uh, start the application start okay and refresh our home page and you can see the heading style is updated and you can verify by view the base source click on the link to the bootstrap css file here and it, it loads the content that means uh, the bootstrap uh, library is successfully loaded into the web application here that's it for using bootstrap and uh, we do the same for JavaScript uh, library framework the query. So we use script type um, text JavaScript and uh, src uh, refers to the location of the jQuery in uh, slash web slash uh, jQuery slash jQuery dot mean dot js. script and you can check the jQuery uh, JS file in the jar file here jQuery you can see web that's jQuery and you can see jQuery dot me dot js here and now let's uh, include a button uh, here mm, button id equal to my button and the text is click me and we use the bootstrap cis class for this button ptn ptn uh, uh, dash uh, primary okay and refresh and you can see the button click me here view base source let's view the base source to verify the query is loaded successfully here click on the link to the query dot me dot js file here and you can see it loads uh, JavaScript content that means the query has been successfully loaded in our Spring Boot web application. And now let's write some code to handle the click event of this button. So I declare script JavaScript section here document ready on a document ready event. We, we execute a function function and we uh, add uh, on click event for the button with the id my button here we look for the button my button on click event execute this function 
and for testing purpose we just alert you have clicked me that's it and refresh and click the click me button and you can see a pop-up dialog saying you have clicked me that means the query is successfully loaded and uh, executed and you can do the same for the javascript uh, library for bootstrap here web uh, this time web slash uh, bootstrap and slash js uh, slash bootstrap not me not js for using uh, bootstrap as a vast script library then you can uh, verify by uh, viewing the pesos and click the link here and you can see it lost the content of the bootstrap javascript file so that's very easy simple and convenient to use a, a web library such as bootstrap or the query in a spring boot application via web that that's declare dependencies in the POM XML file and declare the web that's locator here and then you is you refer to the web libraries in the HTML page normally. You can check for the latest uh, supported versions of the query and bootstrap in uh, Maven repository website. So go to uh, MVN repository website here and search for org.webzas. And you can see for the query here and you can see the all the supported version here you can see the latest version is uh, 3.5.1 here and similarly for bootstrap you can see the latest uh, supported version is 4.5.2 here so far you have learned how to use web uh, for bootstrap and the query in a spring boot uh, project you can learn more about WebZast at its homepage at webzast.org. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you.